Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Growing Up Blue. Today is just going to be a quick short little video about Bindi's overbite and where we are at in her overbite journey. Now the last video that I released last week was a six month milestone update video for Bindi. And after posting that, I realized that I didn't really talk about her overbite at all in that video. But today I did want to give you all an update so you know where exactly we're at. And I wanted to do it outside because it is warming up today. It's supposed to be 81 degrees here, which I'm super excited for it to finally be turning into summer weather. And Racket and Bindi are loving being outside. So I'm just gonna sit here, talk to you guys, and you can enjoy, hopefully you'll see Racket and Bindi running behind me somewhere and maybe with a ball in their mouth. So for any of you who are new subscribers or just new to my channel in general, welcome. If you don't already know, my red healer puppy Bindi, who's rolling around back there, is seven months old, about to be eight months old, and she has a malocclusion type two, which basically, in smaller words, just means that she has an overbite. Her bottom jaw is a lot shorter and smaller than her upper jaw, and when she was a younger puppy, her lower bottom canines were actually on the inside of her upper canines, which you don't want, and they were starting to impact and puncture holes into her top palate, which of course you also don't want. So if you're interested in getting caught up with Bindi's overbite journey so far, or if you yourself have a puppy with an overbite and don't know what to expect in your own journey and kind of want a helping hand saying that everything is going to be okay, I highly suggest checking out this playlist of videos that I have started. We go through Bindi's overbite, talk about exactly what was going on, what her appointments looked like, what her first and second surgery actually looked like. And for the sake of today's video, I did just want to quickly touch on what happened in her first and second surgery so you know where we are at. Her first surgery was when she was a 12 week old little puppy and she had to get her two lower canines extracted so that they would stop puncturing holes in her upper palate and they also wanted to give her other teeth more room to grow. And then of course when she got older a couple months ago she had her second surgery which was when all her adult teeth grew in and that was to remove a couple of teeth to help with her over bite and also actually do a bit of re-sculpting to the gums to help her teeth be in the correct position. It worked, it went great, and now her lower canines are kind of in the position that they need to be. So where all of this is taking me in what is supposed to be a nice little short video this morning when I'm filming is that we kind of have a next steps plan, but we also don't really. We went for a recheck. Honestly, it's probably been about a month now since the recheck. I don't know, time blends together these days and I'm sure that it does for you too. But after her second surgery, we waited some time for it to heal and then we went to multiple rechecks at the vet and the most recent recheck said that everything was looking good. Now, what they were measuring in these rechecks was how successful the gum sculpting actually was and if her lower canines were enough on the outsides of her gums for her to be comfortable and for it not to be causing any damage. Her lower canine on her right side, which was her worst side obviously, that tooth is touching the gum a little bit, but the vet explained that it's not causing any damage, it's just kind of sitting there. I personally would like it to move like the smallest amount, like a millimeter or two more millimeters out just so it's not resting so much on that gum right there. And I believe that the doggy dentist kind of wants the same thing. So her advice and recommendation was basically to continue ball therapy forever, which we have no problem with because Bindi, when she's not getting attacked by Rocket or attacking Rocket, loves to play ball. I'm gonna go take off their collars real quick and then I will be right back. I don't want them to get caught in their mouths while they're wrestling. So collars are off and I'm pretty sure, yep, Bindi has the zoomies behind me. Okay, so where was I at? Yeah, so I was talking about the distance of her lower canines from her gums. So like I said, of course, I want those to move like a millimeter or two, but the vet just said to continue ball therapy to try and encourage those teeth to move. Like I explained in other videos, ball therapy works as a retainer. So it's something that we'll be doing forever just to encourage those teeth always to stay on the outside of their gums. But something that is also really cool is because her teeth are now on the outside of the gums, the gums themselves can work as a retainer and keep the teeth there. So the zoomies totally just ran into my camera, so I apologize if it is lopsided now. 
I think that's good. I forgot how hard it was filming outside on a tripod with a camera, but we're halfway through about, so we're just gonna stick with it and get this video done. Okay, so her teeth are looking good. And as far as next steps, you know, we really don't have another surgery planned, which I think is good news. You know, things could change, of course, if for some reason, her teeth start pressing into her upper gums too much, you know, more teeth might need to be pulled, but I really don't see that happening. If more surgery needs to be done, I do see it perhaps being more sculpting of the gums. Now, if that needs to happen, we actually won't know for a while, maybe a month or two at least. And that is because the doggy dentist said that she wants to see Bindi next after she has had her first heat. Now, the reason for this is that we are planning on getting Bindi spayed. And so while the vet was spaying Bindi, they could also go in there and check if any additional dental work needed to be done. And rather than have her keep going under anesthesia multiple times they would actually do the spaying and the additional gum sculpting or whatever it is at the exact same time which I think obviously if she does need it done it would be better to do it all at once than have multiple times of her going under again so that's basically it I mean that's the big update good news that everything looks good so far I want those teeth to move those few millimeters but other than that the fact that the doggy dentist has such confidence that we can wait those couple of months makes me really happy and it really encourages me at least to continue ball therapy and I know Bindi will have no problem with that because like I said she loves playing ball just like I talked about in her six month milestone video so if you found this video because your pup has an overbite I just want to say hang in there you might be freaking out like I was when I first learned that Bindi had an overbite but it is not as scary I guess as it seems yes there's a lot of work that probably will need to be done but as long as you get your puppy into the vet super fast it is something that there are amazing people and doggy dentists out there to take care of so that's basically all for today again I apologize that this video is longer than I promised at the beginning but thank you for sticking with me through it all if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below while you're at it turn on the notification bell to never miss a vlog growing up blue and stay up to date on all things Australian cattle dogs and Bindi's overbite and leave me a comment down below if you have any overbite questions I'd like to say that I kind of know something about overbites now that I have gone through this process with Bindi of course I am no professional at all but if you do have a question hey go ahead and leave me a comment down below as always thank you so much for watching I think our next video will be outside too but it probably won't be me just sitting with a tripod. I think we have, we have gardens behind that you can kind of see. And I did a greenhouse with my cattle dogs video earlier. I think that the next video might be me finally planting my gardens. And you can see Rocket and Bindi helping and working around the gardens with me, which will probably just be Rocket chewing on the hose and pulling it and whatnot. Anyways, that video will be coming soon. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again soon. Bye everyone. Hey, Bindi, is your nose dirty because you were digging in the background of my video? Yep, and now you're smiling about it? <laughs> She's like, who, me? <laughs> now people are going to leave me comments saying your dog is digging.